think this is where they have the farmer's market now on Saturdays. They hold it back here in the parking lot until November. November, they move it out onto 3rd Street South. They shut the street down. That's Tommy Bahamas over there. We'll see that from the other side. So remember, the parking is behind Tommy Bahamas, just a block off 3rd Street South. There is parking along 3rd Street South, but that usually gets filled up pretty quick. There is a very, very nice little breakfast spot over here. Now, I don't know if it's open because of the COVID, but it is a very, very popular spot here. It is Tony's off third, over where you see that yellow awning, just next to the yellow awning. You might want to check that out on Google, Tony's Off Third. That is a very popular hangout for folks in the mornings. Oh, sounds like they're doing some pressure cleaning over here. Hey, get it done while it's early. It's beautiful down here. That big yellow awning, that's the Ridgeway Bar and Grill, another, another popular, popular place, another very popular restaurant and bar here on 3rd Street. Lots of outdoor seating, as you can see. That's what's nice about 3rd Street, lots of outdoor seating. Sorry about the noise. But you're doing some pressure cleaning here, but there's Tony's off third. Great bread, great pastries, danishes, coffees. Right here in the courtyard. Wine, nice little wine shop in there. Beautiful little courtyard. Shops upstairs, Morley upstairs, ladies' clothing. Yeah, you got to clean the place sometime, especially with this COVID. Everybody's going the extra mile here. But that's a fun little place. Tony's off third. Check it out. We're all ready. All ready at 3rd Street South. We are standing at the intersection of 3rd Street South and 13th, 13th Avenue South. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Still sleeping here. <laughs> 3rd Street hasn't woke up yet. But in the winter months, starting, I believe it's November, I believe November, this will be shut down. This entire block here will be shut down and that becomes the farmer's market on Saturday mornings from 7.30 to 11.30. It is absolutely one of the best farmer's markets in town. Over here across the street, another great eatery in that pink, that pinkish coral color building, Jane's Cafe. Jane's Cafe down here. 
see if we can peek in. And I don't know if they're open. Another popular breakfast spot. Breakfast and lunch. A beautiful little courtyard area with a little fountain in it. Let's see if we can take a peek in there without disturbing anybody. Let's see. If Things are quiet here. Well, they're just getting it set up. Just getting it set up for the morning. Good morning. Beautiful, beautiful outdoor atmosphere. Let me check, let's see their menu. Let's see if they're open for breakfast. I, I thought they were. It's a great place to sit and have coffee. Yep, all day breakfast. Just looking at their menu here. All day breakfast. Jane's on third. It's been here a long time. Breakfast, lunch, salad, sandwiches. Jane's on third. You're gonna see outdoor dining is the theme here on third. Okay. Here we go. Lots of fine clothing. Eileen Fisher, lots of very upscale clothing shops here. I, I kind of refer to this as like the little mini Rodeo Drive. It's our little Rodeo Drive in Old Naples. Over here, let's cross to the other side. Uh, nobody's coming. Should be in the crosswalk, shame on me. <laughs> Something, there's a hidden gem. See that sign right there, Old Naples Pub? Back behind here, back behind here. This is Barbatella, Barbatella, Trattoria. I mean, the food at all of these restaurants is nothing but five star, nothing but five star. But let's take a little walk down between the... There's actually, Barbatella is on both sides here. They have indoor dining, outdoor dining. Most people really prefer the outdoor dining, especially now with all the problems we're having. It's beautiful though, the statue. Beautiful fountain here with the horses. Barbatella. And they have indoor dining on both sides of this little walk through here, both sides. The inside, the inside, you gotta check out the ceiling in this place. Look at the ceiling in here. Look at this. Look at the ceiling in here. That is absolutely gorgeous, Barbatella. Look at that. That is beautiful. Just getting it cleaned up, getting ready for everybody. In the bar over here. Nice wine selection. Oop, getting a bad connection. But back here, is the old Naples pub, look at this. The pub actually is inside, but there's outdoor seating as well. But look at this atrium area, look at that. 
Look at the ivy. Look at the ivy. Absolutely beautiful. The old Naples pub. The camera just does not do it justice here. I'm trying. Absolutely beautiful. Noon time, this place will be loaded with people, loaded with customers. But the architecture is just incredible. And that ivy, look at that ivy. You'd never know it when you're out on Third Street that this was back here. Mahi tacos. Thank you, Connie. Mahi tacos. Connie says, awesome mahi tacos. Well, let's keep walking. Let's go back out onto the main drag. Let me know if you're enjoying this. If not, I can always stop here. Beautiful little ivy covered archway there, the entranceway. I just want to give you a feel for Third Street South here. We're not going to go into every single restaurant and store, but just want to give you an idea of what to expect down here. Now, I, I can't tell you about music. They used to have live entertainment on Thursday nights here. They would have musicians set up along Third. With the COVID, I don't know what's going on with that. Everybody's kind of, you know, in limbo. Everything changes almost day to day. So definitely check out their website. Find men's clothing here. Men and ladies. I mean, if this doesn't remind you of Rodeo Drive, I don't know what would. <laughs> Gattles. Gattles over here. They have been here for a long, long time, Gattles. This is where when they do have entertainment, there'd be some musicians set up here on Thursday evenings, with people dancing here in the courtyard. I mean, it's just an absolutely beautiful place to even just come and take a walk. Just come here and take a little walk. Enjoy the sights and the sounds and the people. I mean, some very interesting people walking around here. Do some window shopping. You're, I guarantee you're going to be tempted by something here. You're going to buy something. I love these lion statues here. I love these big lions. That's partially because I'm a Leo, I think. I just kind of have a love for lions. Big cats. All big cats, but especially lions. This little fountain and sculpture, this was under repairs for the longest time. They finally got it working here. Beautiful. Some really nice artwork sprinkled in here, sprinkled about.
right behind me is Tommy Bahamas. We'll get a look at that. But across the street here, across the street is the Continental. The Continental, another fine dining experience, the Continental. And again, plenty of outdoor seating, plenty of outdoor seating. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, going to the thing in. Oh yeah. Giving it everything. Giving everybody a good plug down here. Perfect. While, it, the while it's waking that. up. I know. Get on, us going. Get us look set. for look for my videos on Southwest Florida Television on Facebook. I will do that. I, I spent that. I spent an hour out on the pier and then I came over here and we're just walking around. We're live right now. We're live right now. You want to say anything to everybody? Come to Naples. There you go. Come, it's, come back to the restaurants. We want, to get we want you here. Absolutely. <laughs> A happy Neapolitan. Isn't that beautiful? Can't you just picture yourself here having a nice glass of wine with your loved one or your. Oh. I like coming here in the morning because I can show you the place a little bit later on, you know, noontime. All the cars will be parked out here and it kind of blocks the buildings. Well, there's Tommy Bahamas. Tommy Bahamas is actually um, two sides of the street here, the restaurant and clothing on that side. And then that's the east side of third. And then behind me here is Tommy Bahamas Relax. Relax. This used to be the mole hole. Man, this was a famous little knickknack store here, the mole hole. It used to be yellow. Now it's Tommy Bahamas. Relax. And then across the street, this beautiful, beautiful brick building. I forget what store's in there. I gotta go check it out. It used to be a Roxa back in the old days. Go see who's in there now. But a beautiful, that is a piece of history right there, that old brick building. With the columns. Tommy Bahama is again over here on this side of the road. And of course, lots and lots of outdoor seating at Tommy Bahamas as well. Restaurant, bar, and store, Tommy Bahamas. Some bird of paradise over here. Some little birds of paradise blooming. Gorgeous, isn't it? Love that building with those the brickwork and the columns.
the delivery vehicles. Lots of fine dining here, just lots of fine dining. Everywhere you look, fine dining. Sea salt, sea salt restaurant. Excellent, excellent, excellent cuisine. Google all these places. Lunch at the bar includes a glass of wine, fourteen ninety-five. Huh. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Four course dinner for two, with a bottle of house red or white, an appetizer, entree, and dessert, eighty dollars. Hey, you know, considering the location, the two people, a night out on the town at a really fine restaurant sea salt their summers well that's I'm sure a special special <laughs> Google their menu sea salt Camp Biello Camp Biello's the old Naples mercantile building Built back in, I can't read that. Can't read that. Does it say 1919 or 1819? I can't make it out up there. I'm guessing 1918. The old Naples Mercantile Building, Campiello's Restaurant. A lot of you are familiar with Campiello's. Campiello. And then down here at the end of the block, Marissa, the Marissa collection. That she is an internationally famous designer of women's fine clothing, the Marissa collection. Fine clothing made to order. <laughs> Marissa. Beautiful building, beautiful building. Well, there you have it. There you have it. A quick look at Third Street South. A beautiful morning spent together on the Naples Pier. What more could you ask for? I hope you enjoyed this extra special walk this morning. If you did, show it by sending some stars. Two hours out here, over two hours. Make sure you share. If you're bored and you want two hours of entertainment with your friends, pop the video on TV. Go to YouTube. Watch it on YouTube TV. We'll be back down here when they open the farmer's market up, when they go full bore here and close the street down. This entire street that I walk down, they close that and it becomes the farmer's market on Saturday mornings. I think they're gonna start doing that in November. We'll see what happens. It's all about the COVID and the rules and whatnot. Again, Tommy Bahamas, world famous Tommy Bahamas. <laughs> you gotta watch the beginning of this video. You got to watch the, 
our walk out on the Naples Pier this morning. The colors, incredible. The birds, dolphins. We got the whole Naples experience this morning. The real Naples experience, downtown Naples. You know what this is? You know what that plant is there? Frangipani. I, I believe that is a frangipani. It's beautiful, very fragrant, beautiful little purple blossoms here. You can get different colors. I believe that's a big frangipani. It actually grows into a tree. There you go, that's what I'm talking about, some stars. Yeah, some stars, baby. <laughs> I appreciate that. I think it was worth it. I think we had a good time this morning. And these are the kind of things I wanna do in the morning. I wanna take you to some other locations. I love our beach. We're gonna do our beach walks, you know, but every once in a while I wanna get off the beaten path and visit one of our other little areas in town and share that with you. Maybe even get down to Marco Island someday. Fort Myers Beach is quite a trip. We might make a special run up to Fort Myers Beach and just kind of show you what's going on up there. So if you wanna see things like this continuing, there's, well now there's three things you guys gotta do. Three things you gotta do. One is obviously you gotta be my friend. You're all my friend, that's why you're here. Your friendship is what I value and very important. It's what makes this whole thing work. And the second thing is obviously your financial support is what keeps me going on these live feeds. And I thank you for the stars this morning. Those of you that are regular monthly supporters, thank you. But the third thing that is really important now is sharing, 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 sharing. I wanna see this page grow and grow and grow just continue to keep growing we've got so many wonderful people here let's keep it up i want to see this southwest florida television family just continue to grow I don't know about the guys with the little pitchforks there. What are they doing? Fighting off the dragon. Fighting off the dragon. Can you see the dragon there? <laughs> Look at that beautiful blue sky. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky. All right, I am going to sign off. Thank you guys, thank you for spending the, your Wednesday morning with me. If you missed anything, you can watch a replay either here on Facebook or on YouTube. Tally ho everyone, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan, God bless.